one thing we love about uh, the three thousand dollars Avant unsecured credit card is that they will approve your ass even if you have a FICO score as low as 300. Think about that. This is fantastic, okay? Soft pull is okay, so they will do a, a soft pull on you. And the APR is kind of high though, 25%. But hey, the cool thing is mass approval is going on right now. So they will approve your ass, not a problem. I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you had to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the $3,000 Avon Unsecured Credit Card, okay? And they will take a FICO score that goes all the way to 300 Not a problem. I want to talk to you about the basics of this credit card. So, when we talk about the 3000 Avon Unsecured Credit Card. What are we talking about? Well, here is a card that caters to people who don't have deep pockets. If you're having financial problems, if you have uh, some kind of uh, some blemishes on your credit reports, bad credit, uh, fair credit, no credit, thin credit, guess what, boss? They will take care of you. They will consider your application. This is kind of good, okay? And so when we talk about this uh, Avon Credit Card, maximum amount, $3,000, what we love is the th the soft pull in other words you don't ha you don't risk a hard pull right off the bat you can check out the, their application you can see if you're pre-qualified okay you just enter your information your social security number your income and whatnot and they will let you know if you pre-qualify that way you are safe before applying you know you're gonna get s something okay let me give you more details about this uh, credit card so there is a $59 annual fee okay the credit limit goes from $300 to $3,000. The APR is kind of high. I said this before, but again, as part of the territory, we are in subprime credit here or no credit. So APR 25.24%. But the cool thing is they report to all three major credit bureaus, okay? This is kind of cool. And uh, what we love in terms of uh, the pros and cons overall, you're talking about the soft pool, the fact that they report your transaction to uh, the three credit bureaus, okay? And one thing I want to say here is that you can use this card to build credit history. All you got to do is uh, use the card responsibly, paying on time, all the time, boss, okay? And uh, what are the drawbacks? There are a few drawbacks here. What we don't like, uh, I've spoken to you about the APRs, that's kind of high. Balance transfers are not allowed with this card, okay? And there are no rewards or other meaningful perks. Usually, when you have an annual fee on a credit card, they are kind of giving you something in return and Evan doesn't do that obviously you are paying the $59 to build your credit that's what it is so big decision time boss big decision time is this card right for you have you applied for this card in the past have you tried their soft you, you got to try their soft pull process okay and the cool thing is I want you right now after this show to go and 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 uh, pre-apply just just do the soft pull you ain't you ain't got nothing to lose really think about it I want to talk to you now about uh, the benefits. So when we talk about the, the, the Avon $3,000 unsecured credit card, you have a lot of benefits, okay? Obviously, in terms of a sign-up bonus, if you are out there, you're looking for, let's say, a sign-up bonus, mm, there is none. And that's one thing we think is really a pain in the neck here. We think that Avon could do a lot better in terms of uh, if you're charging people, see, that's the thing. If you are charging folks a $59 annual fee, you better give them something in return, really. What's up with that, Avon? So if you listen to me, I want you to really change that right now, okay? So there is no sign-up bonus, but there are some other perks. So I told you about the credit building capacity, so they report your data to the major credit bureaus, which is not always, it's not always the case with uh, some uh, credit cards, okay? Because people believe mistakenly that all credit cards reports to all credit bureaus. No, no. Especially when we are speaking about the, 
the subprime category or people who have credit problems or who are new to credit, not all credit cards will report systematically to all three credit bureaus. Some will report to one or two or three. I mean, some to one or two. But uh, the cool thing is that Avent does report to all three credit bureaus. This card has no foreign transaction fees. This is kind of cool because if you are a traveler like me, if you love traveling, then you will love to have a card that doesn't charge you foreign transaction fees. There are no, there is no security deposit. This is an unsecured credit card. Okay, so this is an unsecured credit card. So you don't have to put some cash. You know, you don't have to put up some cash, and, and they will give you a, a balance or a limit based on your cash. Not at all. And another benefit of this card is, I think I've said it time and again, we love the soft pull process. Okay, so you can have a pre-approval or pre-qualification for this card without risking your risking your credit score. Okay, so credit card, credit card, credit card. Boss, I'm talking to you right now. If you are interested in the 3000 Avent Unsecured Credit Card, how are you going to apply? What is your plan? What, what is your game plan? What is your formula? What is your formula for success? You better think about that beforehand. Don't you just go ahead and just uh, apply just uh, online and just get to your decision and, and nothing uh, follows through. No, you got to think about the APR that you want, the, 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 the limit that you want. This is important. The, the limit will be uh, very important for you. And also the, um, the repayment plan. So if you charge stuff on the credit cards, do you, are you pulling enough revenue? enough income every month to repay the, the whatever charge you have on the card think about those things beforehand i want to talk to you about the audience so who is the target audience for this 3000 avent unsecured credit card well the thing is that you know if you are if you have bad credit or no credit or thin credit Sometimes you might go bananas. I mean, because everybody rejects your ass or the only credit cards that you have access to are secure credit card. Been there, done that many, 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 many years ago. Okay. And so th that situation of uh, constant rejection can make you go bananas. But the cool thing about uh, the Avent unsecured credit card is that you have a card that doesn't ask you any uh, security deposit. They will accept you and they will help you to build credit. So you have the so this card is great for it. folks who need to rebuild their credit. OK, if you uh, the, the card will help you efficiently rebuild or build your credit score if you use the card responsibly. The card is also meant for sensible borrowers, what we call sensible borrowers. In other words, you love budgeting. You are in control. You love you love to uh, plan things. OK, you hit surprises when it comes to budgeting. You know exactly how much you're going to spend next month, next week and whatnot. So this card will allow you to actually uh, do the, this kind of stuff because Avon has uh, tools and resources to help you plan, to help you build credit and whatnot. If you are new to credit, then it's great because Avon can be card for can be the card for you. Why? Because it is simple. It has uh, no foreign transaction fees. They don't ask you for it. They don't ask you to have a FICO score of 600 or 700 or 800 to qualify. As I said before, 300 FICO score will, will, will get you in. Obviously, you're not going to get the $3,000. You might probably get $1,000. But hey, listen, you, you need to take everything you can. OK. And uh, one thing we love with uh, Avon is that um, customer service. Great. OK. You have a fast and easy application process. This is really great. The, you do have uh, you do have uh, customer service is great. I said before you can contact them through their their chat, through through chat, online over the phone and whatnot. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Okay, and so in terms of fine prints, regular APR twenty five point twenty four percent. There is no purchase intro APR balance transfer intro APR because you can't do tra balance transfers with this. There is a cash advance fee, which is the greater of $10 or 3% of the amount of the cash advance. Okay, so really important. And there is no foreign transaction fee. In terms of uh, this Avent reviews, if you go to if you go on website uh, on Trustpilot, for example, Avent has received uh, a consolidated score of 4.7 out of 5. 
from 20 more than 21,000 reviewers so overall this is a great product obviously most of these reviews uh, relate to uh, their uh, the Avent loans however the credit card also uh, talks to the same crowd okay so they have excellent customer service also fantastic I want to talk to you about eligibility okay this is really important and as I said before if you have a bad credit or no credit the whole credit card application uh, process sometimes may stink sometimes may be hard on you people rejecting you here and there left and right or whatnot so but with Evan if you apply the proper way if you are if you use the right criteria I'm if you uh, fulfill the criteria I'll be giving you in a short moment you would qualify for this uh, for this credit card so you got to be at least 18 years of age in terms of income ten thousand dollars gross income minimum a year okay you got to be a resident or citizen of the United States that's uh, definitely what it is in your FICO score they will go all the way to 300 so not a problem if you have bad credit no credit thin credit whatever they will take you okay and uh, on the application itself you want to put your full name your date of birth your social security number and you want to put your address your email address your phone number so those are basic this is basic information okay and they want you also to put your financial information so this is really important so we are talking about your employment status so are, are you a self-employed are you employed you have a nine to five job are you in the military are you retired are you unemployed so those are the questions you need to ask they will ask you about your total annual income we're speaking about gross income here including salary wages retirement income investments rental properties alimony and child support okay so you can see that there is a diverse there is a there are different sources of uh, income and if you have also non-taxable annual income I'm talking about income that is exempt from uh, federal income taxes such as Social Security public assistance disability and workers compensation then you know you want to mention that as well and Avent will ask about your monthly housing cost to sort of see your DTI your debt to income ratio and they will ask you also about your bank account information in, in other words do you have a checking account or savings account so big decision time big decision time based on what I just told you do you have do you think you can qualify for a an Avent unsecured credit card in other words do you meet the requirements Will that be complicated for you or this will be a piece of cake? Think about that. I want you to think about that. Let's talk about your financials. If you want to qualify for the $3,000 Avent Unsecured Credit Card, you want to think about, let's just say that there are some financial criteria you must meet. First of all, your DTI must be 40% or less. We are speaking about your debt to income ratio so obviously your FICO score is just uh, one criterion right they, they will go all the way to 300 that's that's not a problem but your DTI must be 40% or less so DTI is very simple let's say you just take your debt payments and you divide that by your income so if you're making for instance ten thousand dollars and you actually uh, allocate $4,500 to debt payments your DTI is 45% in other words 4,500 divided by 10,000 multiplied by 100 so, so that's 45% they want you to have a CUR of 35% your credit utilization ratio of 35% that's uh, that's obviously in case you already have a credit history though if, because if you have no credit history all these things about CUR will not apply to you right so CUR is your credit utilization ratio so this is basically your total available limit so how much you have uh, currently open how much you owe on credit card on credit cards and revolving lines of credit versus your total limits okay and you want to keep at the lower the lower the better gross income they want you to have at least ten thousand dollars a year i just said that before it's really important and uh obviously we are speaking about uh, gross income and they have no restriction in terms of uh, your employment so whether you're you're you have a nine to five job or you are cyclical you're a seasonal you're a seasonal worker you're a temp worker they'll take you not a problem okay FICO score I've said this before 300 that's the minimum 
you need to have a bank account though this is important i don't want you to just bring your ass over there and just and just say hey, listen i have no bank account but i want to qualify for a credit card no what's up with that you want to have a bank account and again you can have a bank account at a credit union or at a bank not a problem so money 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 do you have the monetary criteria do you meet the monetary criteria needed to uh, qualify for the avant unsecured credit card boss i'm talking to you what's your financial history right now what's really happening are you scraping by or you are just banking what is your status here so this is very important i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Twitter Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about uh, the $3,000 Avent Unsecure Credit Card. And I want to give you now some highlights, okay? And uh, so, remember, this card is unsecured. Do you follow? In other words, no deposit required. This is just fantastic. I mean, they're not asking you anything, okay? They report to all three major credit bureaus. And we we'll love the fact that there are no hidden fees. You know, the thing is that I'm kind of tired of... Uh, credit cards in this category that charge you a constellation of fees and before you know it you're just drawn in fees you're drawing in fees and fees and fees but Evan doesn't do that obviously they 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 don't have no penalty apr they do have a late fee up to 39 dollars okay so this is something you need to uh, avoid at all costs and what's really cool is that they may periodically review your account for credit line increases so as long as you are paying on time all the time, you can actually, they can bump your credit. So the initial credit limit goes from uh, 300 to 3000, but after a while, they can bump you up past 3000, not a problem, okay? They do have, uh, they, 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 they will love the fact that they have zero for liability for unauthorized charges. This is kind of cool, okay? You can, you can pay your card through their online portal 24 seven, not a problem. And what we love is that you also get MasterCard ID theft protection. This is kind of cool. And uh, at the end of the day, you need to understand that Avent is uh, a fintech, but the card itself, so the Avent branded, the, their branded credit products, the loans and the credit cards are issued by WebBank, which is a member of the ADSD. In other words, whatever, if you have a savings account with them, your funds are secured up to a quarter of a million. So credit card, credit card, credit card. You've heard the highlights of this card. The, is it the card that you want? Is it a card that is great for you? Are you trying to rebuild credit or build credit? If you get approved, are you are you ready to use the card responsibly? Do you have a plan to repay your balance dues, your balances due every month? You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a formula. You gotta have a code. This is important. If you, if you have a code, then you can really uh, very easily get the card and use it to your advantage. And after a while, you can ditch the, this card for better cards because they're charging you a $59 annual fee. You can get cards that don't charge you that. Before we close this conversation, I want to I want to do a quick comparison here because uh, the Avon credit card is in a category and it's not the only card in that category. So there are other credit cards that cater to the same crowd the same population the, for example we have the pedal to visa credit card okay and this card is issued by the same bank web bank and uh, this is a this is a great card it is a great unsecured credit card for folks who have a little to no credit so there is no annual fee or security deposit with this card but the cool thing we love with this card is that you will earn one point one percent cash back on eligible purchases right away and up to 1.5% cashback on eligible purchases after making 12 on-time monthly payments. Okay, plus you can earn 2% to 10% cashback at select merchants. Okay, so this is really great. And uh, what we love is, so when you compare the Avent credit card to Pedal, Pedal 2 is definitely better. What about Avent credit uh, card with a Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card? Well, the Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card offers a, a flat 1.5% cashback on every purchase 
and 5% cashback on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One Travel right from the first day you use it, okay? And the card also comes with an end, with an annual fee of, uh, actually no annual fee, okay? So this is kind of cool. And we love the fact that uh, this card is flexible as well. So if you compare Avent to Capital One Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card, the Capital One credit card is a, is a lot better, a lot better. What about Avent credit card versus Apple card? Well, what we love with the Apple card is that you have a, a constellation of a rewards, okay? Particularly if you use Apple Pay for most of your purchases. And the card charges no annual fees, foreign transaction fees, or late fees. And this, this card is, is paired with an app designed to show how much your interest charges would be in different payment scenarios. So this is kind of cool. Obviously, products from Apple are always good. And uh, if, if we were to actually uh, compare and contrast Avent to Apple Card, Apple Card is way better. So you can see that here is my pro tips, pro tips here. You can see when we compare actually uh, Avent to other credit cards, then Avent actually loses. However, Avent is in a specific category that could help you. This is the kind of card that you use uh, temporarily for one year or two years or three years maximum, and then you close because they'll keep charging you the $59 annual fee and the card doesn't provide any other benefits other than uh, reporting your uh, transaction to the credit bureaus. Okay, here is the end of today's conversation. I was talking to you about that $3,000 Avent Unsecured Credit Card. I spoke, to, I spoke about the basics, the benefits, the audience, the target audience, the eligibility, the financials, the highlights, and last but not the least, the comparison that you need to know to make the right decision. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.